Hey guys, it's Steph, cause who else would it be? In today's video, oh my goodness, I cannot believe this is happening, but today's video is sponsored by none other. Just take a minute. Today's video is sponsored by B&M. You guys know I have a, I'm gonna say it, a very unhealthy obsession with B&M. I, like when I'm sad, I go there. When I'm happy, I go there. When I need things, I go there. When I don't need things, I go there. I, I may as well move into B&M to be honest because I'm there probably like multiple times a week. And so it fully is like a full on pinch me moment right now because I'm working with them to do a little Christmas gift guide for you all. I've gone into store, picked up a whole load of things and I got a lot, like I got a lot of stuff. There's literally like seven bags next to me right now. So I'm sure you guys already know about B&M, especially if you live in the UK. If you don't, I don't know what rock you've been living under, but trust me, go to B&M. You can get everything from like snacks, like day to day, like grocery things and like toilet paper and stuff like that. You can get the most insane affordable homeware, makeup, hair tools. You can get pet stuff, clothing. There's like DIY stuff. They literally have a little bit of everything in store. So with Christmas being less than a month away, somehow. B&M set me a challenge, which let's face it, wasn't really much of a challenge to go into store and pick up a whole load of bits for a Christmas gift guy. We've got loads of different categories, loads of different price points, but nothing in this haul costs more than 30 pounds. Like I said, I pretty much live at my local B&M store, but even I was surprised at how much I could get for my money and how many different things there were. Like genuinely, I was going in there, like you'll see some of the things that I got. I was like, did not know you could get that from B&M. Did not know you could get that from B&M for that price. Like there's, honestly, I'm just gonna need to show you guys. We've got a whole load of categories. We've got like stocking fillers, food gifts, gifts for guys, gifts for girls. We've got like hair tools, home decor, Christmas decorations, loads of things. So I've got a lot of things to go through today. Uh, thank God I speak fast. So get yourself a little drink, tea, coffee, alcoholic, whatever it is. This mug is actually from B&M. If you guys saw my last B&M haul, serves me well. And let's get into it. Let's get into the festive spirits with my really festive outfit right now. Let's go. All right, so first up, we're gonna go through some stocking fillers. So I got this stocking here for seven pounds. Like I've seen stockings like this on other websites and they're like, they're a lot more than seven pounds, let me tell you, but it's like this faux fur kind of gray stocking. And it's really, really cute and it's nice and big. You can stuff it with loads of gifts. So let's go through everything inside. First up for the stocking fillers, you guys know I am never without my long nails. So I picked these up from the brand W7 and I've used these nails before and they're really, really good. They kind of look like the Hailey Bieber, like glazed donut sort of nails. And these were like two pounds 50. You can reuse them, they come with glue, they are fab. Next for stocking fillers is this little candle here. This smells so good, like this smells expensive, but it wasn't, it, it was £2.50. And I feel like you can't go through Christmas without a candle and I love a candle. Like, okay, if any of my friends are watching this, if you're stuck for presents, a candle. I just, I'd love a candle. Next, oh my God, I saw this and I was like, that is so cute. And I've seen something very, very similar to this on a pretty expensive website, but of course this was not expensive. I think this was like, yeah, this was four pounds. They had a few different colors and it's like this little trinket jewelry box. You've got a little dragonfly on the front there. But this is so nice, whether it's for someone a little bit younger or someone that you know loves their jewelry, they can just put this on their bedside table. It looks really, really nice, way more expensive than four pounds. Like even that as a gift, not even as a stocking filler, like put that in a nice little gift bag and people are gonna be like, that is really, really nice. You've got little slots for your rings there. You can put your bracelets, your earrings, your necklaces, anything like that in there. You can travel with it. I just think that is so cute and it was literally four pounds. Next, some socks. Again, just like with the candles, you can't go through Christmas day without getting gifted a pair of socks. And these, I saw these and I was like, these are so nice. They're really, really thick. They are ridiculously soft. And as you can see, there are three different colors. You can also get a bunch of different colors as well, but you know me, goth queen over here. I just went for something a little bit more neutral. I cannot wait to wrap these around my feet because these honestly feel so soft and these were four pounds. Like, could you imagine having all these things in your stocking on Christmas day? You'd be like, next to something that when I saw this, I was like, I need to have that. It might not seem like the most exciting thing in the world, but trust me, when you get to my age and you start loving like everything homeware, 
you're gonna get very excited about this kind of thing. So it's like, I forget, I don't know how to say it. It's like our gut, our gate, don't know, please let me know in the comments, but it's this little tray, but I will probably use this as a coaster. It's rimmed with a little bit of gold flex on the side. And I just think like once you take the sticker off the back, this would just look so nice and so expensive when you just put it on your desk, in your lounge or whatever like that. And this was two pounds 50. Okay, another Christmas staple is a bath bomb. It's gotta be done. This is a Cornetto uh, strawberry bath fizzer. It smells really, really good. I can smell it from the packaging. And this was like one pound. You can never go wrong with a bath bomb, am I right? And they did a bunch of other ones as well, but the Cornetto one just kind of like, I was like, ooh, I want that. I love that it's a gifting guide, but I'm looking at everything like, I want that. I want that, I want that. Okay. Ooh, controversial sweets here, okay. The B&M Sweet Isle is like my favorite place to be. If you if you ever lose me, if I go missing or anything, you can probably find me there. I know Palmer Violets aren't everyone's favorite. Let me know if you guys like Palmer Violets, by the way, because I am obsessed with them, but they had loads of different tubes of different sweets, different chocolates, loads of things like that. And this was like under a pound. I think these were like 85p. So uh, probably gonna have a nibble on them later. All right, the next thing, if you guys used to watch me stream on Twitch, which I do want to bring back in the new year, let me know if you're part of the Twitch fam, Among Us. We had a lot of fun on Among Us. I'm not going to open it now because I know who this is going to, but there's this little Among Us like squish me kind of like stress ball toy. And there's six different ones to collect. And this was, I think, four pounds. Oh, should we do some like ASMR or something? It's not really ASMR, is it? But they do loads of different things like this in the kids section. And by the way, guys, I'm gonna try and link as many products as I can down below. Some of them you're not gonna be able to get online. A lot of them you will have to go into store for. But like me, like, do you ever need an excuse to go into B&M? Probably not, but yeah, they had loads of different things like this. They had like Xbox controllers, PlayStation controllers. They had like a Minecraft one. So yeah, loads of really cute bits like that. And then I saw this in the stationary aisle of all places. And I was like, okay, I have a friend in mind that I know would love this. It's a little hip flask, but how cute is that? And this is part of the Positivity Power collection. They had a bunch of other things as well. They had like a little bell that was like ring for cocktails and stuff. But I thought if I get that, I'm gonna be ringing it every five seconds and Ollie's gonna lose his mind. But I thought that was really, really cute. Like even just like outside of Christmas, imagine this on like a Hindu or something. It just says the good stuff and you can fill it with the good stuff, like milk and orange juice and other liquids. But yeah, I thought that was really, really cute. Oh yeah, there's still more my friends. B&M has so many Harry Potter bits. If you guys saw my last B&M haul, you will have seen that I got one of my friends like a little wand. And honestly, I was so close to getting one myself. They're like mystery wands, they're so, so cool. But I saw this, it's little Snape figure. It's one of the little Funko minis and I think this cost around five pounds. But if there's someone that you know that loves Harry Potter, B&M have so many different things like surrounding Harry Potter. They also have, they didn't have it in my store, but I saw it the other week. It's like a terrarium. I'll put a picture of it on screen now. And it's like Hagrid's heart and it's a little terrarium. And it's so, I'm honestly, I'm gonna keep my eyes open for that because I need it. But yeah, they have loads of things like this and I love Snape. Snape was always one of my faves, so I got that as well. And then last but not least, for the stocking fillers, you guys know I have my ugly Christmas tree every year now. It started off as like this little tiny one, and now it's just turned into a whole ass tree. But I saw this little guy and he just had to come home with me. How? cute is that so this was just two pound fifty and it's part of the festive nature collection they had a bunch of them like this honestly again the b m aisle for christmas decorations is insane like i had to fully restrain myself going and buying like a whole new set of christmas decorations for my tree but I've got to stick to the, the ugly tree this year. But yeah, I love him. Look at his little scarf flowing in the wind and he's holding onto a little Christmas tree. It's so cute. But yeah, loads of Christmas decorations. Okay, so what section should we move on to next? Okay, I'm sure it is no secret to any of you that B&M absolutely kill it when it comes to homeware. <sighs> I saw this and I was like, okay. You're coming home with me. We've all seen these vases. Some of them can literally be like three or 400 pounds, whereas this guy here was a tenner and it even comes with a little pampas grass as well. Like you see the little, this little vase back here, that was B&M, that was like seven pounds. And yeah, honestly, I am obsessed with this. Let's take the label off. 
Like they literally had so many things, so many vases, so many candles, so many diffusers that look so, so expensive. And they're literally like a fiver. Like it's madness. So um, you're gonna be staying with me. I'm gonna put you back there. There we go. Mine now. Next, speaking of diffusers, this is like such a good default gift for anyone. Like we all have those family members that you're like, what do I get them for Christmas? Whether it's like aunties, grandparents, friends, whatever. Just get them something like this. There's two candles and then you've also got this tray as well. So like imagine that on your dining table, on your coffee table, on your bed stand, whatever it is for seven pounds. And then once it all runs out, you can just reuse it. So it's like, it's like the gift that keeps on giving. Next up is this kit here that I got for eight pounds. How cute is that? So it's a little candle making kit and you end up making one of these like female form candles. Like you can go and buy someone a candle if you want or you can be like, I challenge you to make your own. But I thought that was so nice. The packaging is really, really nice as well. Like it just looks like a nice gift and it's eight quids. It comes with the wax, it comes with the wicks, and it also comes with the mold. So in theory, you could actually make more than one if you needed to, like you could just go and buy more wax and reuse the mold and you could just have like multiple of these. So yeah, I thought that was really cool. Next is something that I actually saw on the website and I thought, I know exactly who needs that in their life. So I'm not gonna say who it is, but just a heads up, this is gonna be going to you this Christmas, but it's this cheers sign that lights up as you can see here. And I thought this would work if someone you know has a bar cart. A lot of my friends, we love a drink every now and again. And this on a bar cart or even in like a man cave, like my dad has like a little man cave situation. And I feel like this on the wall or on the bar or something would just look really, really cool. Even in your kitchen or something. It's just something a little bit different that I feel like most people wouldn't necessarily buy for themselves. But if I got given this, I don't know if I'm like old and boring at this stage, but I would be so excited about something like this. And I think this was around 15 pounds. Next is something that might be slightly unusual to give as a gift, but I feel like if you put this in a nice little gift bag, whoever receives this, especially if you're like me, like, okay, am I gonna keep this for myself? Yes, this is one of the things I'm definitely keeping for myself as well as, you know, the Palmer Violets. But this little marble tray, I love a tray, whether it's for like jewelry, in my bathroom, in my office, anywhere. I don't care, but this is like a proper marble tray and it was eight pounds and I literally love, I, I could literally say it like over and over again in this video. I feel like I already kind of have. B&M homeware, top notch. Like seriously, you can go in and buy so many different amazing things and you put them all together, you style them upright and it will look so flipping expensive and your friends will come around and they'll be like, where's that from? Oh my goodness, you know, that must've been really expensive. Eight quid from B&M, hun. Hey, look, you could put your little candle on it there. You got your candle on it. I'm trying not to drop this right now. You could put your little jewelry box on it as well. Like, that's cute. That's cute. And it was less than like 15 pounds. Great little gift, that. Next is another Christmas classic that you just cannot go wrong with. I know there's like a running joke about like socks and slippers for Christmas, but honestly, you give me a pair of slippers for Christmas, I'm like, I'm your best mate. There were a few different colors of these, but obviously I went ahead and chose black and they've got like a little faux fur situation around the front and on the sole. And they've got like a little suede kind of situation at the front as well. But these were seven pounds. Like imagine if you just took the label out, like take this little cardboard bit away, put them in a nice little box that you can get for probably like a quid or something, wrap them up in a bit of tissue paper and people would look at you and be like, these are really nice slippers. How much did you spend? And they never have to know that you spent seven pounds on them. Like, I think these are so nice. And did I get them in my size as a coincidence? No, I didn't. I'm gonna put them on right now. Should we do like the wear test? See how comfy they are? Ooh, not just saying this. The slippers I have right now, they're cute. They're great. These are literally like hugging my feet. Yeah, these ain't going to anyone other than me. Happy Christmas, Steph, thank you so much. So, you know, if you're lacking for ideas, get someone a pair of slippers, get them a diffuser, get them a pair of slippers, get them some socks, whatever. Like, you ca literally cannot go wrong. My foot is so warm and comfy right now. Oh, yeah, they're a winner for me. Next is actually the most expensive thing in this entire gift guide, and it is this aroma diffuser from Fabulosa. I have their wipes, I have some of their sprays, like their cleaning sprays and stuff like that, and they smell so good. Like the wipes that I have in my kitchen at the moment are rainbow drop scented, they are honestly insane. And so I saw this, 
And I was like, yeah, again, like kind of going along the theme of all like the diffusers and stuff. I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm trying to either tell myself or tell my loved ones something here. But I thought this was such a nice gift. Again, take the label off and you've got this really, really cute diffuser. You can see it on the side there. It lights up and it includes one free essential oil as well, which is gonna last you a really, really long time. But honestly, the fabulous scents that they do are so flipping good. And this again is something that you can keep reusing, 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 get different essential oils. And it looks really, really nice. Everyone loves the whole like abstracty kind of modern look going on at the moment. And this again, whether it's in your bedroom, your bathroom, your living room, whatever, this is just going to look really, really nice. It's not going to look like something that's obviously some sort of diffuser or room aroma thing. It's just going to look really, really nice, like a little vase. And they had a few different options as well, not for the Fabulosa range, but they had like like smaller ones. They had like a little gray ceramic one that I was eyeing up, but I thought this one, because I know the scents and I love them, they are incredible. That was a winner from me. And it's a nice box as well, easy to wrap. Just get a little bit of wrapping paper or a gift bag or something and you're sorted. No hassle and it's a good gift. Okay, now we're gonna move on to like slightly homeware. This one is anyway, gadgety sort of things. This is when I got really excited because you guys know I love a gadget. I love gaming, I love gadgets. I, I just love a gadget. And I got this for Ollie, he's not allowed to have it yet. I've told him he can't have it until I film this video, but I have one of these sort of things. Again, it's from Goodman's and I think it cost me like 20, 25 pounds, but oh my God, it is a lifesaver. It charges my phone, it charges my AirPods, it charges my Apple Watch all in one. I don't have to worry about loads of cables and stuff like that. And it looks really, really cool. So I got Ollie one for himself, but again, like if he wasn't editing this video, I would probably give this to him as a Christmas present, but because he's editing this, he's gonna see it and be like, excuse me, I saw that in your video. But yeah, I got this for 20 quid. It's a three in one charging dock and it's a nice black one. And again, it's from Goodman's, you know, it's a good brand. But I saw that and I was like, yes, that is a banging gift. Everyone has all these different like devices, whether it's like your phone, your AirPods, whatever. So something like that is so useful that people don't tend to buy themselves. But once they have it, and I can confirm because I have one myself now, Game changer, absolute game changer. So Ollie, you can have this in a minute. I will leave it on your desk in a second. Um, but yeah, this is sick. Okay, so when I saw this, I could not believe the price of it. This is like a little GoPro kind of situation and it was 20 pounds. Now I have a lot of friends that do like BMXing, they travel a lot, they do some like diving stuff. I don't really know what they do, but this is such a nice gift for someone, again, like I look at gifts and think, how easy is that to wrap? This is very easy to wrap. And again, if you gave this to someone for a Christmas present, they'd be like, what? You've gone and given me a waterproof camera. So it's another Goodman's product. It's fully waterproof. It includes a helmet mount, handlebar mount, or adhesive mount. So if you have friends or family or whatever that go on like bike rides or something, if you're in London and they're always riding around, these are really, really useful. Just for like health and safety as well, but also, if you have a family member that's like a vlogger or wants to do stuff like that or travels a lot, these are really, really cool. The official GoPros can be insanely expensive now, but this one films in 1080p. Like what more do you need? It's waterproof. It's got everything you need going on. So like if there's a guy in your life, obviously girls can love this as well. Like I would love this, but guys especially, they love their gadgets. They love things like this. And again, for 20 quid, like you literally cannot go wrong with this. Like, so cool. Or if you wanna be like a Francis Bourgeois, like train spotter, there we go. If you've got like an avid train spotter in your life, get them one of them, 20 quid, sorted. Another gadget that I got that also kind of falls into like the hair beauty kind of situation is this here from Elle. I'm very, very curious about this. And when I got this, the woman at the till was actually like, I've got one of these. They are incredible. And this was, let me try and find the price. It was like 18 pounds, I think. Yeah, the price isn't on it, but I think it was less than 20 pounds. So you can probably see with this, it's got a little brush just here and it basically blow dries and styles your hair in one go. Like that is literally like a godsend. There's literally gadgets like this on the market that cost like 400 pounds and this one was less than 20 quid. And like I said, the lady at the till told me it was really, really good. She uses it every single time she washes her hair and I trust her opinion because her hair looked really, really good. So uh, that's another little option as well. Okay, one for the lads. Again, Ollie's gonna be getting this because he always loses his shaver. This Babyliss for Men shaver here was like 18.99, I think it was. Again, less than 20 quid and you've got 
everything you need, whether they're gonna like shave their head, shave their beard, shave other parts of their body, something like that. Again, like so many men would love something like this, or women, you know, like if you wanna shave any other part of your body or like give yourself a little undercut or something, works for everyone, but that again is a classic for Christmas. I feel like guys especially never go and buy themselves like a shaver or a razor or anything like that. So get it for them, just tie them over for the next few years and yeah, less than 20 quid, really, really good gift. Another cute little gift for someone, this is gonna be going to my dad. He loves Star Wars. He has so many little like random stormtrooper things throughout his house. So I saw this and it's just got a little bath soak here. And then you've also got this little stormtrooper rubber duck and this was five pounds. So again, whether you're doing like Secret Santa or something like that for a guy in your life, you don't know what to get him. Guys are always awkward to buy for, like something like this. Like encourage them to wash and give them something cute to look at when they're doing it. So that's another cute little option. Okay, the next thing, wait, I have to grab it. Next is something that if it didn't have a huge 20 pound sticker on the front of it, I would not believe you if you told me this was 20 pounds. It's a light up mirror that plays music. So you can connect your phone to it, get ready with the girls, get ready in the morning, whatever you wanna do, and it lights up so you can see everything that you're doing. I've got a mirror right here that I film with, and this one retails for like three or 400 pounds, but it does the same thing as this, only this one connects to your phone as well so you can play music, and it's 20 quid. Like, hello, and it's a nice big box. So imagine giving this to like your sister, your mate, your niece, whatever. They'd be opening it up and being like, what? Like, no one needs to know. No one needs to know that it costs 20 quid. Like, they're gonna look at it and be like, damn, you've really sport me this shit. But I think that is so cool. For someone that you know that loves getting ready, makeup, going out on a night out, whatever it is, this is so cool. And 20 quid, madness. If you thought I could go and do a gift guide without featuring some sort of makeup product, you're wrong. Okay, they have so many different makeup bits. They have loads of bits from Perfusion. This was 10 pounds. It's the Glow All Out Face, Lips and Eyes gift set. I've tried Perfusion makeup. No one ever really seems to talk about them, but they do really, really good eyeshadows and powders. And in here, you've literally got mascara, matte lip cream, you've got a liquid highlighter, you've got an eyeshadow palette, a bronzer, pretty much a full face, to be honest. So that's a really, really cute gift as well. We then have these little Pop-Tart lip balms. I saw these and I was like, you know what? I have to get them. I feel like this, even if someone's not into makeup, they would love something like this. It just makes a lip balm a little bit more fun. I mean, you could even split these up if you have kids and you're doing little stocking fillers, you could split these up and pop them in their stockings. These are four pounds and they have strawberry milkshake lip balm, hot fudge sundae and chocolate chip cookie. But they had like loads of different variants of this sort of thing. They had like tango, they had sweets, like loads of different things. And then the mother loads. Look at this, this big ass set from W7. It's the Glam Trio. And this again costs 10 pounds. You've got the Pressed Pigment Eyeshadow Palette. This is basically a dupe for the Huda Beauty Palette. I mean, to be honest, all of these palettes here are really, really good dupes for Huda Beauty. Like if I show you guys in the back, you can even see this palette here has that weird little eyeshadow that the Huda Beauty Palette has. So you've got three different eyeshadow palettes there again. If you wanna mix them up, put them in little stocking fillers or something, make up your own little box, you can. But again, this as a gift is really, really nice and I really, really like a lot of W7 products. Okay, we're getting there, kind of. I've got this little perfume set from Misguided, this cute little bauble. Again, it could be a nice little stocking filler or could be a good little secret Santa gift. Doesn't have the price on it, but I believe this was around about five pounds. I don't think it was any more than that. And you get a little perfume and then this cute, little pom-pom keyring. They also did a larger set that's obviously a little bit more expensive. I think that one's maybe around like 10 to 15 pounds, somewhere in between there. But yeah, I thought that was a really, really nice gift as well. And I do really, really like the misguided perfumes. And then, you know what? I always forget that B&M do like more higher end fragrances. I saw that they had this Jimmy Choo perfume and oh, guys, this is a perfume that my mum used to wear. So she used to wear loads of perfumes just like me, but I got this in New York years ago when I went on my first ever trip with Tumblr and I came back and she loved this and I just gave it to her and I would buy it for her ever since then. And they had this for 25 pounds. So I snapped that up. Uh, it's the just the original Jimmy Choo Eau de Toilette. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to some pet bits. You guys know my cats are like my children and every Christmas they get insanely spoiled. I already bought them loads of Christmas presents. They've already had them because I just, I can't resist. So I have to like try and like keep them away from the boys now so they don't have these as well. 
I got this for £3.50. It's like this little Robin chaser thing that I know they're gonna love and go insane for. I then saw these. Now I think these are meant more for dogs, but these will definitely fit on Michael and Pepe's little legs. Like they're, they're gonna hate me. They're not gonna like it. This isn't really even a present for them. It's more like a present for me, but these were £2.50. And they're these little leg warmers. Like they have like loads of different sizes, whether you've got like a bigger dog or a smaller dog or cats or, you know, like guinea pigs, birds maybe. But I always make sure that I get a little picture of them in some sort of festive outfit, even though they absolutely hate it. So they're gonna get two of these each, put them on their little front legs. They're gonna hate me for like the two minutes that they're on, but I think they're so cute. I also got them this little cracker here for four pounds. So these have some little stick treats in them, which my cats honestly go insane for. And there's also a couple of little toys in there as well. So that's a cute little option. And I saw this and I know Pepe in particular is gonna lose his mind over this. So this is the Snugglebud Garfield and this was four pounds. And it's actually microwavable. So Pepe will love this to play with, but Michael, he loves to just snuggle up. I literally always wrap him up in my dressing gowns and stuff. So he is gonna, Love this. And then my favorite thing that I got for them, I'm gonna look, just look at this cat's face. Look at that cat's face. That's exactly the kind of excitement I want Michael and Pepe to have with this. So it's a cat scratching box, but it's in the shape of a laptop. Like, how on brand is that for me? So I can just sit there, do my work on the sofa, and they can just sit there scratching away at their laptop. It's even got like this little mouse, but this was four pounds and I am flipping obsessed with this. I think I'm gonna get one as well for my sister's cat because I just love it so much and I feel like everyone needs one, but they basically just have this little scratching section here and you can change the pictures. Not that, not that my cats will care at all, but I will. And it's, it looks like a laptop but they can scratch at it instead of scratching at my shoes and everything else that I own, but I'm obsessed with this. Oh no, Michael's coming. <gasps> you can't have them yet. No, you can't. Stretching those legs? Hi, did you hear me talking about you? Yeah. Okay, the last category I'm gonna go into, this bag's a little bit heavy, is food. Cause again, you can never go wrong with food or drink or things like that at Christmas. So let's see what I got. I am gonna force Ollie to do this with me later. Gingerbread kit. Whether you give it to someone as a gift or you just buy it in the lead up to Christmas, I love building a gingerbread house. So much fun. This was six pounds and it has like a bunch of different sweets in there as well. You've got Skittles, you've got Haribo, you've got a little bit of everything. So, Ollie. I'm like talking to Ollie through this video right now. We're doing this later, okay? Whether you like it or not. I, I, I've got you all the other bits. You have to do the gingerbread house with me. Thank you. Everyone loves a little bit of chocolate on Christmas day. So I saw this Reese's kit and thought that would make a really nice gift, whether it's for someone else or for me, this is this is for me. But yeah, you've got a bunch of different like Reese's things in there. Things that I've actually never had, like the overload pretzel and caramel, peanut butter, chocolate bar thing, yum. I know what I'm having for dinner tonight. I'm having a gingerbread house and Reese's pieces. All right, okay, okay. I did not know that B&M sold tequila rosé. Now again, like if you're, if you're above the age, feel like I have to say that, bottle of wine, bottle of Prosecco, some sort of spirit, something like that. Like that's me sort of Christmas. Slippers, drink, food. That's all I need. I'm not much of a shot girl, can't hack it anymore, but tequila rosé, oh, it just smells like strawberry milkshake and it, it tastes like strawberry milkshake with a, with a bit of a kick. It's not like your standard like McDonald's strawberry milkshake or anything, but yeah. The people that are of age, whether it's a bottle of wine, liqueur, tequila rosé, you just can't go wrong. Pop that in a cute little gift bag, put a little bow on it or whatever. That's like a gift done. Whilst we're on the topic of something a little bit more alcoholic, we have something, I was gonna say for the guys, but I also really, really like this as well. A little bit of IPA. Now Ollie loves punk IPA. So again, like Ollie's getting so many things out of this video. So you better make that gingerbread house for me, Ollie. But we've got this little punk IPA set. So you've got two cans there and then you've also got a little glass. So again, a good gift for something like Secret Santa, your dad, I don't know, like, your boyfriend's dad, your girlfriend's dad, whatever. Just can't go wrong. Okay, last two bits. We have this hot sauce kit here. This was just four pounds and you've got a bunch of other hot sauces in here as well. I don't know if you guys have ever seen hot ones. You could do your own version of hot ones or try it out, see who can handle the hottest one. But yeah, you get a few different bottles of hot sauce there if you have someone in your life that loves hot sauce. Cause honestly, some of my friends are more hot sauce than they are like human, I swear to God. And then you all know my love for coffees. 
iced coffees, everything like that. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, that is a gift that I would love to receive. It's this little coffee syrup set. But yeah, there's six different syrups in here. You've got toffee, uh, salted caramel, hazelnut, cinnamon, gingerbread, and vanilla. And it's only five quids. Like that as itself, you're gonna get loads of use out of it. You can get continuous use out of this little sieve. It's not a sieve, I'm trying to think what it's called, but this little thing up here. And I know there's gonna be someone in your life that is probably just obsessed with coffee as I am. So if you're stuck for ideas, that, it's a fiver, like sorted. Right guys, I feel like I've just been talking at you for ages, but hopefully you found some sort of inspiration in all of the bits that I picked up, whether it's from like stocking fillers to like home bits, drink, food, hair stuff, makeup, things for guys, pet stuff, like a little bit of everything. As a massive b and fangirl, I already knew you could get so many amazing things from their stores, but honestly, I did not realize that I could pretty much do my entire Christmas shop in one go, just in one visit. Like, I literally got everything I could possibly need. I just wanna give a massive thank you once again to b and for sponsoring this video. Honestly, literally like dream come true, to be honest. And again, I'll link as many things as I can in the description box down below, but guys, just head on down to your local b and store and I'm sure you'll go in for a couple of things and come out with a whole lot more than you bargained for. So guys, I'm gonna leave it here. If you enjoyed this video and if you find it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, guys, that is it from me. I'm now gonna go and wrap some of these things up, AKA the cat toys, so that they can't have them until Christmas. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna leave it here. I love ya and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Can you believe I'm working with B&M? Mm buzzing.